The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. For the promise to Abraham and his descendants that he should inherit the world was not through the law, but through the uprightness of faith. That is why the promise is to faith, so that it comes as a free gift and is secure for all the descendants, not only for those who rely on the law, but for those others who rely on the faith of Abraham, the ancestor of us all. As scripture says, I have made you the father of many nations. Abraham is our father in the eyes of God, in whom he put his faith, and who brings the dead to life and calls into existence what does not yet exist. Though there seemed no hope, he hoped and believed that he was to become the father of many nations in fulfillment of the promise, just so will your descendants be. And our response is taken from Psalm 105. Stock of Abraham, his servant, children of Jacob, whom he chose, he is Yahweh, our God. His judgments touch the whole world. He remembers his covenant forever. The promise he laid down for a thousand generations, which he concluded with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac, Faithful to his sacred promise given to his servant Abraham, he led out his people with rejoicing, his chosen ones with shouts of joy. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said, I tell you, if anyone openly declares himself for me in the presence of human beings, the Son of Man will declare himself for him in the presence of God's angels. But anyone who disowns me in the presence of human beings will be disowned in the presence of God's angels. Everyone who says a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but no one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how to defend yourselves or what to say, because when the time comes, the Holy Spirit will teach you what you should say the gospel of the Lord.